Hey guys, my name is Catherine, and today I'm going to be showing you how to integrate a dialogue flow agent with the Google Assistant. And the way this is going to work is your agent is actually going to act as a third party action on the Google Assistant. So if you think of your iPhone, you have iPhone apps, the Google Assistant, you have actions. And in this case, we created our SoulCycle chatbot last time. Your SoulCycle bot is going to be a third party action on the Google Assistant platform. So if that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, don't worry, we'll dive right into it. But we've already done most of the work already. We just have to integrate it with this platform. So to do that, we are going to go to integrations, this page that I showed you guys before. And here we are, Google Assistant, obviously, Dialogflow owned by Google, so they want you to deploy it on that platform. And we are going to click this. The explicit invocation, this means that this is going to be the intent intent that is triggered when the user opens your third-party action, when they open your bot. So, you know, when you say, hey, Google, talk to SoulCycle or whatever you decide your invocation name to be, um, this is the intent that will be triggered. And then we can also say if sign-in is required or not. In this case, you know, this is pretty a hard-coded chatbot, so we'll say no to that. And we'll hit test. And in this case, we are going to allow for auto preview changes. So this means when I change something on Dialogflow, if I change the utterances or I change something like that, it will already be reflected. It will automatically sync to the Actions Console and Simulator. So that's just where we test the Google version of, or the Google Assistant version of it. So we'll hit Continue, and this is going to be super, super easy. And here we are. We're in the simulator. And it looks pretty similar to the dialogue flow simulator, except here, since we're talking about a third party action, we actually have to say, talk to my test app. So we'll hit enter here. And there's some other things going around, you know, going along over here. We don't have to worry about those right now. And here we go. We have the response and text of our agent. So that's awesome. Now we can continue to talk. We can use this microphone if we wanted to talk to it, or I can say, see available classes and it will work just as expected as you know as we did on the dialogue flow version of it um, so now it's talking to me it's telling me when they have classes and then it's continuing that conversation now since this is linked with my google account this is my little avatar up there that means if i log into the google assistant app on my phone or if I have a Google Home that is synced with this account, if I tell that Google, you know, that device or that app, talk to my test app, this is what is going to be pulled up because this is the current app that I'm testing. Now, what happens if you don't want to say talk to my test app, you actually want to say the real word? Well, that's when we go into another window. Um, but before we go into that window, I'll just explain a little bit what these things are. Here's your surface. So are you, you know, talking to the Google Assistant on your phone, on a speaker or on a smart display? And then what does that look like if it is, if that device has a surface? The request and the response, these are JSON objects that I have a video on JSON objects, but um, these come more in handy when you're dealing with fulfillment and you are actually building that JSON um, through the actions or dialogue flow SDK. Audio, this is how it's going to sound. Um, debugging, if there's any issues, this can be helpful. And then errors, this can also be helpful if you have issues. Um, this is the current location. So if you're doing anything with location uh, with your Google Assistant, this would be a way for you to configure that on the fly. And then, yeah, that's pretty much, this is your actions on Google Console where you're testing that third party bot, your third party functionality that you are adding to the Google Assistant. You're testing your SoulCycle chatbot on this third on this platform that is the Google Assistant. So hopefully all that makes sense. Um, but as you'll notice, there's like setup, build, deploy, all of these good things. And we can start off with setup um, language. We're going to skip, but invocation. This is what I mean when I say, you know, instead of saying talk to my test app, you're going to say talk to my SoulCycle chatbot or talk to blank. Um, in this case, we're actually going to call it SoulCycle. Let's see if it lets me call it SoulCycle since that's a brand name. I don't know if it'll let me do that. We'll see. 
and then you can see how the Google Assistant will say it by hitting that play button. In the directory, we'll just call it SoulCycle. We can pick what voice we want this um, chatbot to have. Let's pick, let's see some of these. We'll do, we'll do that one. And then we should save this at the top here. And, ah, it's a reserved brand name. Okay, fine. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, SoulCycle chatbot. So unfortunately it's a reserved brand name, so they're waiting for SoulCycle to make an action, but not yet. But I can say SoulCycle chatbot, so we're gonna go with that. And then we can go back to our simulator, talk to SoulCycle chatbot, it's already ready for us. We'll hit enter, straight into that experience, but this time we used a custom invocation name. When you use it, it's probably gonna say something like, you know, here's the test version of your blah, blah, blah. That's the, the only way you can get rid of that is by actually deploying your um, chatbot and putting it on the Google Actions like store and actually making it public and making it available to everyone on the Google Actions platform, on the Google Assistant platform. So yeah, that's the only way you're gonna, because it's kind of annoying, but Maybe it's a way for Google to say, you know, this is a test version. Don't share this with other people. Um, but it may take some time for this to sync. Basically, the first time, couple times you try it, it's not going to recognize that invocation name. It's because it has to sync, I imagine, with the Google servers and register it as an invocation name. And now no one else can use that invocation name. So that all has to happen before you're able to use it. So it takes about a minute or so, um, so be aware of that. Now, if you try this, if you say, talk to SoulCycle Chatbot or whatever you named your action, if you try this on your phone, on a speaker, on a smart display, it's gonna work as long as you have these accounts linked or you've enabled another account as a test account. And you can do that with this little share thing over here. And so you can share this. Um, with other members and it shows you how you can share it with other accounts and then you can have other test accounts and then it becomes a bigger project than the, you just testing out a platform. So that's it for this video. If you want more technical tutorials, be sure to subscribe and if you're interested in something a little bit more in depth, be sure to check out my LinkedIn learning courses linked down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good week.